Welcome to another video of Empire Labs video tutorials. Today uh, we're going to talk about actually uh, the way that you have to optimize your BitTorrent program so you could get better download speeds and also better upload speeds um, so you could download your files uh, normally faster than you should. So now the first thing that you have to do and the most important thing, the major thing that uh, actually um, improves the speeds of your torrents is to forward the port that um, you want to use for your torrent program. Okay, for instance, um, um, to forward your port, okay, you open up your Internet Explorer, um, enter your uh, the IP address of your router, press enter. The web uh, application that is used to configure your uh, router opens up. Okay, we're going to do this a little bit fast. It's going to uh, it's a little bit different uh, um, for uh, probably for your router. Uh, and I've uploaded another video, which um, which shows that uh, the way that you have to forward your ports on your router, um, explain everything, every si single thing about um, your router and IP and so on and ports and routers. So just a little review. I've chosen a name for it. Chose only TCP because um, torrent programs uh, don't use UDP, so we just only need TCP. And choose a five-digit number because normally um, torrent programs are used to um, download um, through the ports 6881, if I'm not mistaken, 6881 to 6889 or 99. So. Um, Probably the ISP, uh, ISPs are going to be blocking these ports, so you better be um, choosing uh, and setting uh, a five-digit number for your port that your time program is going to use. Um, for me, I'm going to use 43400. You could choose any number that you want. So uh, you forward your port, press add, and here we go. It's finished, uh, and it's forwarded. Okay, let's go to the Tarn, bit Tarn program. We open it up and here it is just installed it so everything is the default right now okay click options click preferences and come to leave the general alone this is this is uh, we're not going to talk about this is not important at all downloads as well uh, come to connection right as you see here um, the bitar program chose uh, a random port for itself first of all this might be Tick, so remove the tick here. We don't want to randomize port every time the BitTorrent starts since uh, we've defined a port that is 43400 for our um, router to be used for BitTorrent programs. And enable UPnP uh, port mapping, which helps uh, port forwarding for um, the router. Um, Enable NAT PMP port mapping, add BitTorrent to wi Windows firewall exceptions. Uh, normally, the new win uh, the new BitTorrent programs have this option, so you could get it ticked all, uh, all of the time. But um, the previous versions normally didn't have this option, so you had to manually add the uh, um, port that you need um, to the Windows firewall. Um, since all of the new one new pro BitTorrent programs have this, I'm not going to explain how to add your port to Windows firewall. But if you need it, just leave a comment. I'll uh, I'll let you know how you have to do it. All right, coming down here to upload maximum upload rate. Um, we uncheck this and uh, uncheck this and uncheck this. So uh, no, not un let it be checked. Yeah, so we're going to manually um, select these. All right for the maximum um, upload rate. Excuse me. For the maximum upload rate, um, leave it to 20 to 25, depending on what you want. Um, no, no more, no less, because sometimes um, torrents are like this: that the more that you upload, the more you're downloading. But leave it to 25 is enough. And uh, while you're not downloading, okay, you could um, set it whatever. I, I normally set it to 150, although I don't get more um, upload speeds than 80, 85 kilobyte per seconds. And maximum download rate zero is unlimited. We'll leave it to zero because we want to get the um, unlimited uh, speeds for downloading. Press and apply, so make sure nothing's going to change. Come to BitTorrent and global maximum number of connections. Leave this to 200. Um, maximum number of connected peers per torrent. Leave this to 50 also. Uh, let me give a, a quite um, a little. Uh, explain th this a little bit. Um, the connection that you make is 200, right? So normally you're not going to be downloading all of the t of uh, all of the 200 connections that you're connected to, all of the peers that you're connected to. Um, so 
there's another option maximum number of connected peers per turret alright so uh, when we leave this to 50 it means that um, you only get to connect it to 50 um, peers at the same time um, for instance if you're getting good da uh, download speeds everybody is going to upload uh, a maximum of 30 kilobyte per second so 50 multiplied by 30 kilobyte becomes uh, 1.5 1 megabytes so that's uh, fairly enough I haven't seen anybody downloading far more than that and the number of upload slots per turn leave the, um, this should be I think around it's 4 change this to 10 because I think I've changed this before right change this to 10 and use additional upload slots if upload speed is less than 90 percent enable the HD network enable the HD for new turns and the only um, option that we're going to uh, uncheck here is the limit local peer bandwidth and protocol encryption leave this uh, um, check this as enabled um, the reason this that this has, has to be enabled because um, normally um, the ISPs is going to check the ISPs are going to check that uh, what kind of ports that you're using for torrents while when you enable this protocol encryption uh, they won't be finding out so they're not going to block be blocking your ports all right uh, allow uh, incoming legacy connections tick this to and press apply again so we make sure not gonna any problems not gonna occur nothing's gonna change and come here maximum number of uh, active torrents uh, upload or download all right we'll leave this to uh, uh, it depends on yourself all right uh, we could leave this to eight but normally I download only one p uh, torrent uh, at a time so I don't have several torrents being downloaded at the same time um, so it's just um, the it's just uh, talking about speed or um, so if you have several t uh, torrents being downloaded at the same time uh, the s uh, your s uh, torrent speed uh, would actually decrease so we did this leave this at 8 leave this at 5 and uh, we we're not going to change anything here and scheduler other nothing here uh, oh we come to advanced this is the uh, another more important part um, actually the w as default the max half open connections are set to 8 we're going to cha change this to 90 so um, there's not going to be any limit to connect to peers and uh, don't set this to more than 90 or more than 100 because uh, you might be probably facing problems connecting to peers right uh, make sure that you press set and press ok and that's all right so to check this how how this is going to work we open up this uh, Internet Explorer, the Pirate Bay. I've chosen on E here. Connections have been established, and actually, you're downloading, so there's no problem at all. Uh, we'll just give it a little bit of time, so let's see what's going to be the maximum upload rate. I'll stop this video and uh, show you the maximum uh, upload s download speed that I got. Yeah, actually I've um, paused the torrent so you could get a better view of what happened um, as you see here is 99.9 percent .9 finished uh, actually we got uh, 21 peers and uh, 16 seeds were connected to us so um, I, and as you see here the maximum speed that I got for downloading was around 268 kilobyte per second and uh, for the upload speed depending on the torrent sometimes it gets to even zero but uh, although I set it to 2025 uh, I even didn't upload to 2025 per kilobytes per second right a um, couple of other things that I forgot to say first off um, this um, little tri uh, uh, yellow triangle make it make sure it, it turns out to a green tick so um, you're gonna have uh, actually um, be accepting connections from outside um, normally it, it, sometimes it takes time um, for about 15 minutes depending on the size of your torrent and the torrents that are connected to you and another thing was that uh, when you're downloading when you're choosing a torrent for instance I go to pirate.org and press the seeds button, seeds button here and as you see it brings me um, torrents that have 761 um, seeds and 84 um, leeches so possibly and probably I would get more um, download speeds than using the other one while I was having only 16 to 15 seeds and leeches per torrent